I think, yeah, I think you're right. Let's talk about the delivery element. If there's three strands, it's, it's important to focus on the one we're most safe we're talking about. So on that delivery strand, can we just discuss more about the nuances behind dig the digital elements behind that? Sure. So let's just uh, look at four patterns, in my view, that are emerging on the delivery of healthcare uh, and why that will change everything. One, diagnosis is becoming almost free. Ten years ago, it would have costed me a million dollars to do a tip to toe diagnosis of you. Today, I can do that with $10,000 and throw in your genome uh, sequencing. Soon, I can edit your genome in, in, in a few years' time. That's a 99% reduction in the cost of diagnostics, and we're just starting. Uh, we're now going from clinics into your homes. Yeah, this day I saw a device you attach to your mobile, you talk to it, it analyzes your bread for 50 different diseases. Uh, at Cambridge, we're working on uh, similar technology that analyzes your bread for the onset of uh, lung cancer 18 months ahead of every other test. We are soon going to do with your body what we do, do with your car. We're going to, to look at it, analyze it, put sensors in it that will tell us everything about your body all the time. Second, information in healthcare is already free. Uh, the entire knowledge of humanity on medicine is already on the internet, give or take. But much more importantly, we are now creating artificial intelligence that can look at that. I'm a physicist. No physicist now does physics without the help of artificial intelligence. Your weather gets predicted 10 days ahead with powerful models who, who do very complex analysis. We can do that with your body, and we're starting to do that uh, with your body. We just launched the very first clinical triage system entirely based on artificial intelligence. We put it into tests, uh, uh, academic tests, and it showed that it's more accurate than a doctor by 13% and a nurse by 17%. And it's scientific to think that way, to think that the rational, sequential, logical decisions, machines can be able to compute better and faster than human beings are. Thirdly, uh, <clears throat> we are now can reach everybody. So we know we can diagnose, we can, uh, we, can, we, can, we can do the diagnosis and have the knowledge, but now we can reach you. We, everybody has a mobile phone. Much more importantly, whatever that mobile phone does today is only 50% of what it can do in uh, next year. It's only 3% of his capability five years from now. 10 years from now is 1,000 times more powerful. Can you imagine a mobile phone 1,000 times more powerful? What can it do? Uh, and the fourth element of what is happening is that everything in treatment is being turned over its head, uh, from molecular biology to synthetic biology, from uh, organ reconstruction to DNA manipulation, from laser intervention to uh, ultrasound manipulation. Everything, everything we know, we are rebuilding. It's neither God nor creation that is creating new forms of lives. It's right next door to us, our scientists in the synthetic biology labs of the Imperial College. Just go and see what is happening. You put all of these together, everything we know about healthcare is about to just fall apart, and a brand new field is being invented. 